Caterpillar introduced its line of vocational trucks in March of 2011. In May of 2015, CAT launched the third truck in its stable, the CT680. It's CAT's first long-nose set-forward axle tractor setup, and it's aimed squarely at the folks who haul heavy equipment. Toromont Caterpillar in Concord, Ontario, offered us a test drive on the CT680 last fall. I'm Jim Park, the equipment editor at Today's Trucking and Heavy Duty Trucking. CAT's CT680L is a really well-crafted truck. The fact that it's targeted to vocational operators didn't keep the designers from building in some genuine driver comfort features and some really attractive styling. Let's saddle up and I'll tell you all about it. Uh, we're in the CAT CT680L and we're just leaving Concord now. We're uh, trying to make a left turn onto Highway 7 here with all this traffic. What a nightmare. But we're going to try and stick together and follow the leader and hopefully we'll all get down to Stony Creek at the same time. The first thing that struck me about the CT680 was the visibility from the driver's seat. It's got a big tall hood, but the designers have all the visibility angles covered. The visibility out the front of the truck is really, really nice. You've got that uh, wide wraparound windshield. Uh, even though you've got a wide tall hood, our little rookie stick mirrors out there Nice and rigid, as you can see. They're not wiggling and dancing all over the place. Pretty hard to hide anything in the, uh, the space covered by those mirrors. So, and the net result, you know, even though the hood is big and wide, I don't think you've got any uh, visibility issues there, thanks to those mirrors. When you're looking out that window, out the passenger side, you've got a really nice view. You know, obviously a nice big mirror, uh, an even bigger convex mirror, which is really helpful and you've got the side view mirror too, so you can see what's going on down on the ground beside the truck. The steering is really nice too. A really positive feel on the road. You sure don't have any question about where you are on the road relative to the position of the wheel. It feels uh, really sure-footed and uh, it handles these deft little maneuvers in traffic quite well. Caterpillar has made this truck a really comfortable place to spend a work shift and drivers won't be going without places to put all their stuff. The uh, driver position while you're actually driving is quite nice. I, I like these doors now that have the wide armrest uh, sort of door sills on them. The mirror adjustments on this one are in sort of an unusual place. They're actually up on the dashboard. Uh, you often see them on the, uh, on the armrest on the door. Nicely trimmed in here too. It's a, not a cab that I would say is uh, luxury appointed but it's certainly comfortable and certainly attractive, easy on the eye. I like this gray color. There's loads of storage space in here too. And they've got these nice little sculpted areas on the dashboard for putting stuff like pens and pencils and change and keys and who knows what. A lot of trucks now have a dashboard that slopes down right into the windshield and so easy to lose stuff that falls down there. You've got a nice big door pocket too pocket in the back here underneath the back window. Like I said, quite a bit of storage right at the driver's fingertips. One of the hallmarks of a well-built truck is the noise level inside the cab. This one is really quiet. Cat says the, uh, the doors, the ceiling, the back wall of the cab and the floor are all insulated for uh, noise attenuation. It's really quiet in here. You can just barely hear the engine. Uh, there's no gear noise. There's very little road noise. Really nice, comfortable driving environment, actually. It's got a nice sound to it. So that's what it's like driving CAT's CT680L. It has a comfortable, quiet cab and lots of driver conveniences. The visibility is really good, and that's a really big plus on a busy job site. The truck handles really well, too. In the next video in the series, we'll hook up to a trailer and do a little local driving to get a better sense of how it performs in the field. We have a walk around of the CT680 as well. Be sure to check that one out, too. For heavy duty trucking and today's trucking, I'm Jim Park, midway between Concord and Stony Creek, Ontario.